All right. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you had enough coffee this morning to wake you up. It's going to be a long day. And uh, yeah, I mean, not much to say. The conference will be in English. So uh, that's mostly because we have uh, speakers coming from all over uh, Europe, at least. Some guys also from Israel. So thank you for being here. So let me start by saying thank you. Uh, I mean, usually people just conclude the talk with thank you. We start the talk, say thank you, because without you being here, the conference does not exist, right? I mean, we are the conference, no? We as uh, participants, we have speakers, we have as organizer, we as sponsor, right? We do the conference. So thank you for being here. I know it's a <clears throat> kind of difficult time for everybody due to you know, the pandemic. So uh, I guess for most of us, it's probably the first event in person after two years. Uh, so I see yesterday we had a speaker dinner and I saw a lot of people were kind of emotional to be here and you know be in contact with others after two years of lockdown, uh, including myself. So thank you for being here. Uh, I want to thank as well our angel. So from this year we start uh, recruiting voluntary that help us during the event. So people that are not in the in the board of the conference. So we have 12 people in the conference that are uh, the organizers and help us all around the year. Plus, we had this year like other 15 angels that help us like to uh, distribute the beer, the coffee, uh, check in and so on. So thanks also to these guys. Uh, thanks to the sponsor. Of course, you know, we are a, a no-profit association. So this conference is not run uh, by a company. We don't do business out of that, but we have to pay this room. We have to pay a bunch of things. Uh, I mean, it's not easy to get sponsored when you are in Acre Conference, no? I mean, we don't, we don't sell products here. We don't have vendors. So it's not as easy as it could be like in other conferences where uh, it's more like commercial. So uh, we did a lot of, I think, good job. So for this year, we have like 19 sponsors. And the first one here in the list uh, is actually the best one because uh, they want to sponsor us. And we ask, OK, what do you want to sponsor? They said, we're going to sponsor the social event tonight. So tonight we are going to a pub uh, where we have like beers and drinks and so on and so forth. And these guys actually, you know, pay for you know our our social event tonight. So very much happy about that. Uh, so thanks to all these sponsors you're using the screen, and I also to cheers our friends. Uh, so this conference comes from the community, uh, and it is for the community. So our goal is to share knowledge in the security community worldwide, and uh, uh, some of the guys. Behind this conference, I've been uh, running uh, events and attending uh, conferences since over the last 10 or 15 years. Uh, so we are pretty much good friends with conferences like Hacking Bull, uh, Molcon, Romac, uh, that are um, conferences similar to this one running in Italy. Uh, then we have a few camps in Italy uh, in the spirit of uh, the uh, CC, Chaos Computer Camp, or the camp in the Netherlands. Uh, it's one is uh, Ask and Summer Camp in Venice. The other one is one run by uh, IHC, the inclusive eco framework. Uh, so if you want to come to Italy like for, for camping in summer, uh, these are actually the reference you need. And then I have to say uh, cheers to you know, my friends from Confidence in Poland, Offensive Con in Berlin. Uh, 8.8 is a uh, conference running in South America that starts in Chile. And now uh, it's, it's running in Bolivia and a bunch of other countries down there. The friends, Dillon, my friends at Hacking the Box, um, running an event in, uh, um, in Europe as well uh, next week in Abu Dhabi. Uh, I want to say hello to Andrich, my friends that run an Alcon in Goa, uh, Arduino IO, that was like uh, three weeks ago in, uh, in the Netherlands. And of course, our friends uh, from Russia that run Zero Night, it's one of the probably largest aching conference in, uh, in Russia. So pretty happy to bring Noah as part of this community. OK, so let me tell you about the ingredients. So what's Noed about? So the idea came about three years ago. So we decided to run an international conference in Italy. And everybody was telling us, OK, dude, you are in Italy. Everybody speak Italian. How come you, you know, you're able to run something like this? OK, let's, let's give it a try. So, so we went for that. And apparently, it seems to work. Uh, probably 10 years ago, one, I mean, probably the time we were not ready. But now I think it's a good time to do something like that. Uh, so it's, the spirits are an international conference in Italy, a uh, conference which has some novelty. So we don't want to have talks that you can watch online on YouTube, right? I mean, what's the point? So we want to, uh, we have the Kofu people process, and also we try to invite speakers that bring some novelty, right? So 
I'm not saying he's 100% research oriented, this could be an academic conference, but at least there should be some more of what's already there. I mean, some, some, some novelty on top of everything. Uh, of course, we have tried to be as vendor neutral as possible. So we have sponsor asking us, can we give a, uh, a, you know, a vendor talk, like a vendor pitch? No, I mean, that's, you know, we are not RSA, right? Even in the slide, we don't want to have like uh, uh, logos of sponsor and so on and so forth. And we don't want to be influenced by, by sponsors. So we need sponsor, of course, so it's always a compromise. But we try to be as vendor neutral as possible. And of course, the conference run on a voluntary effort. So we have, as I said, we have this year 12 plus 15, 27 people that are helping us to run this event just for, for passion, right? Uh, about the name, everybody was asking me, OK, why you came up with this no ad thing? Uh, yeah, we couldn't call us Black Hat because you know, we are not in Vegas. So uh, <laughs> of course, you, you know, most of you guys know that there is already Black Hat. And we don't want to be a copy of Black Hat. We could call us white ad, but it doesn't sound very good. So we came up with no ad, uh, which is something in between. There is actually a logic, and I gave a talk uh, two years ago uh, as an introduction to this conference. Uh, you can watch it on our uh, YouTube channel, uh, where I, I, uh, yeah, I'm revealing actually the, uh, the, uh, the idea behind our name. So go and take a look at that talk. Uh, so our menu for today, uh, so we start in the morning since you have a fresh mind, hopefully, if you didn't party too much yesterday night. So we start with uh, a very uh, serious and technical uh, program because we have like my talk, then we'll be David, and then we have uh, three talks. So around we have probably four talks in the morning. They're all in the track of offensive and vulnerability research. Uh, so we look at uh, binary analysis, we look at fuzzing, we look at how to find like zero days in new vulnerabilities in software. Then in the afternoon we go with more broad topics. So we have talks in the scope of uh, cyber espionage, which is a very interesting topic in my opinion. Uh, hardware security, so how you bypass protection on uh, hardware um, uh, chipsets. Uh, then you look at malware and ICS and 5G. So it's uh, probably more heterogeneous uh, program compared to the morning. And then, of course, we go, as I said, to, uh, to a local pub nearby here, um, where you are all invited. Uh, we will give a voucher uh, to, to have a free drink. And then we see how it goes. But we go basically directly from here. I will give you instructions in the afternoon. Uh, so we. We are aiming to have nine talks in a day on a single track, which is something insane. Uh, but yeah, we, I mean, we want to burn our brain, so that's why we are here. Um, and also the break is pretty short in time. So we have allocated one hour and 50 minutes. And you know, uh, to have you all you guys, 300 people, taking a, a, a lunch in one hour is not easy. So what we did, we already uh, uh, we contacted seven restaurants in the area, and uh, they are waiting for us. So they already know that we are going there to eat. Uh, the, the model is a FIFO model, first in, first out. So you have to call them before 11 AM and reserve a table. Uh, there is, for some of them, there is already a menu. So you just go there, and you eat what they bring you, basically. For others, there is some choice. But it's made in a way that you can eat in one hour. Um, I guess in the, in the bag eh, you have received there is a, 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 the list of the restaurant. It's also on the website. So noet.it slash restaurants, there is a restaurant. So just make sure to uh, reserve your spot. Of course, you can eat wherever you want. So there is a McDonald's just in front. There is a piadineria on the left. There is a coffee place on the right. But if you eat, uh, I mean, if you eat on your own, then you might be late. I mean, this is what we have seen two years ago in 2019. People were late because they went late for lunch. Uh, for the speakers, we all go, uh, and also for the angels and the organizers, we all go together. So we are going to assemble uh, 12.45 somewhere here, and, and then we go. OK, so uh, I don't want to take too much, because the program is very long. Um, I would like to.